am Taylor Reese, Expedition Studios Director and Adorama Ambassador. About a year ago, I remember the phone call. Uh, we were sitting around waiting to hear about this National Geographic expedition to the cloud forest of Guyana, these towering Tapui Mountains, lush with biodiversity and undiscovered frog species. We were kind of charged with this task of needing to come back with high-end footage, good enough to premiere on Disney Plus, but you know, something we had to carry on our own backs through 50 miles of jungle terrain and up cliffs and in low light conditions. How are we really gonna pull this off? Sony had just come out with the FX6, uh, their cinema line camera, same low light sensor as the A7S III and really low weight, but it pretty much saved the day. So along the way while moving through the jungle, we did need to shoot a bunch of interviews and I found that the variable built-in ND on this camera was one of the best features we could have had. It allowed me to adjust the exposure without seeing any jumps in exposure like in the middle of a clip. So that was really helpful. Normally you're always scrambling to adjust your ND or your ND filters are scratched. So having this like built-in ND, especially with the smooth variable wheel, was pretty much a game changer. In addition, the autofocus is amazing. Even since the expedition that we were on, which was about a year ago, Sony's come out with a number of upgrades to the firmware. One of which I love is the cache recording. So if you're shooting wildlife and you want to back record, they now have that cache recording technology. So other than the FX6, we had the Sony A1 and the Sony A7S III, which rounded out our kit for this adventure. Yeah, so as you can see, this uh, crazy lens is the, is the Laowa wide-angle macro probe lens that we use for a lot of our, our frog cinematography. So it takes an insane amount of light with this lens, um, and we're in a dark jungle. Most of the time, we're shooting at 16,000 ISO and getting shots that are totally clean. So this is the A1. So as directors, Renata and I needed to be a little more nimble. Our director of photography, Matt, was often carrying the FX6, and Renata and I were pretty much sticking to the A1. I was totally shocked, really. Like, we were able to capture 4K to 8K video footage on this camera that perfectly matched the footage of our A-cam, the FX6, and you know, be nimble enough to toggle instantly into photo mode and be shooting stills that um, you know, comprise this entire National Geographic magazine feature article. <laughs> I saw the A1 get fully dunked into the water without a housing and survive the entire trip. There was another time where he took a big old spill and face planted into like three feet of mud, including the camera, and miraculously it all survived. You know, mostly it's just really an incredible day and age where we have this entire ecosystem of cameras with all of their unique capabilities that all share the same suite of lenses. I mean, the truth is we've We've never had the cinematic capability that we have now with such a lightweight package. Honestly, it makes these really remote stories possible. It makes me really excited to know that we can all accomplish more you know, with less. I mean, ultimately these tools are for everybody and the, the power of this technology for creativity is at all of our fingertips and I'm just, yeah, really excited to, to see what, what the whole world is going to create.